I get a call from my dad and um, something doesn't sound right and I knew my mom hadn't been feeling well um, for the past couple weeks. He told me she would be airlifted to a hospital um, somewhere in North Carolina. At this point nobody knew what was going on. Um, they just knew that her body basically was attacking itself and everything running through her body was septic. Being like the oldest of four, I've kind of been like that second mom all my life, so, um, gosh, I didn't really know, like, if I would lose her. We were in and out of the hospital until about February of 2018. I told my teammates when I had scheduled my final evaluation at Duke. At the end of practice, we always do um, prayer requests. And um, I said, I, if you guys would just pray for me, I'm going to Duke tomorrow. And some of them knew I had been going through this, but a lot of them didn't. Um, and they, everyone just kind of like looked at me and I was like, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go see if I can give this kidney to my mom. <laughs> so when I went to Duke, I told them that it was a secret and I had not told my mom. And I asked them, um, I was like, you know, if this does end up working, I, I just really don't, I want to be the one to tell her. During this whole thing, you know, I didn't want to get too excited because I didn't want to get my hopes up. And that's kind of why I didn't tell her. I was thinking about it just because, like, we've been holding on to hope for so long. And I just didn't want, like, I didn't want that to, you know. I busted into tears and I called my dad and um, so I was like, okay, well when I go home, it'll be like an early birthday gift. And I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna top this birthday gift, but this is gonna be it for this year. <laughs> I printed out like my CT scan and um, I kind of pointed to the kidney that they would be taking, the left one. And um, I had an arrow to it and I wrote on the poster, I said, we're expecting a kidney. And there was a mason jar of kidney beans. And I was like, well, if she doesn't get the hint after that, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. And it was a really, like, special moment between us because, you know, it's my mom. The least I can do is give her this kidney that she needs to give her a new life. From day one, had said she wanted to be a match. And she wanted to be the donor. She knew that she would be a match and she knew that it would work. So she has, has wanted this since day one. And I had no idea that she had gone and spent two days at Duke and gone through all the rigorous testing and, and everything that's required. So it's, it's very impressive and I'm thankful and so proud. I never would have considered like organ donation. Um, you know, if she didn't go through that. And now that I see like so many people need kidneys and organs and you know it's a it's a great thing you know the process and what you can do with your bodies and like your extra kidney and you save two people you you know you give it to the person in need and you also bump up another person on the list. They're encouraging they've always been encouraging and they've always been so supportive and especially my coach she She's known since day one and she's just been like such an amazing support system. And Wingate as a whole, like my professors and just everyone around me has just been so encouraging and so helpful and it's just been amazing. Mm -hmm.